Hi guys, Mr. Lambert here. Today I'm going to be giving you the lowdown on alcohol and drugs. So, just quick five to check your prior knowledge. Fill these out on your worksheet and give me a pause. Addiction. So what is addiction? It's defined as a compulsive need for and use of a habit forming substance, so such as heroin, nicotine or alcohol. It's characterized by tolerance and by well-defined physiological symptoms upon withdrawal. So some common addictions are things like drugs, alcohol, sex, pornography, food, smoking, video games, internet, shopping, gambling, work and exercise. Some of the signs of addiction are things like withdrawal, uh, you keep on going despite knowing that you have an illness, like this gentleman down here, uh, a lot of risk taking sort of behaviours, uh, you do it in secret, so you try to hide the fact that you are taking this um, or doing this thing, uh, excessive consumption like a gentleman up here, if you have stashes of whatever it is um, and you're hiding them around the place. Uh, if you're getting into financial difficulty uh, because of it, and quite often you'll see people who steal um, and cheat in order to get money, in order to pay for their addiction. Um, if you have relationship issues because of it. And quite often if you are using the addiction to deal with these issues, the financial, the relationship, etc., if you're using it to deal with them, then that's a really big sign of addiction. Drugs. So what is a drug? It's a, a drug is a chemical, any chemical that you take that affects the way that your body works. It's also a medicine or a substance which has a physiological effect when ingested or otherwise introduced into the body. So there are different types of drugs. Okay, this one is a depressant. These slow down the activity of the brain and the nervous system, slowing down the communication between the two. Okay, so they make you more lethargic and your reactions are a lot slower. I'm sure we could name a few of those. Stimulants. These are drugs that stimulate the brain and the central nervous system. They speed up the communication between the two. And there's an example here of caffeine being one of those. Hallucinogens. These interfere with the brain and the central nervous system in a way that results in confused perception. People see things that aren't always there, like this poor kid who has some sort of funny elf ears and a third eye on his forehead. So effects of drugs on the body. On your worksheet is an image of someone in the teens and someone uh, who's a little bit older. Using the upcoming list, you know, write down all of the short-term effects of drugs on the young body and all the long-term effects on the older body. Short-term effects include what can happen to your body straight away or when you take drugs when you're young. Long-term effects include what will happen to your body if you were to take the drugs over a longer period of time or what can happen to you later in life if you do drugs. Here's our list. Okay, so pause this and then figure out which side these are going to go on. Okay, that's us for alcohol and drugs. So hopefully you have got a bit of info there uh, and just listen to your teacher and follow on with the next activity. Thanks for having me. Cheers.